Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I wanted to share this deck today. This deck I call the Jedi Council. This deck is a deck that allows uh, you to build creatures to be big and strong, buff them, and use them to buff each other. All right. So one of the important things with this deck is you got to have Vor Vorinclex right here, the monstrous raider Vorinclex. This is a nice creature. You can see over here when another card or effect buffs a creature you control proliferate. This effect can be triggered three times per turn. Okay, so that's an important one. We're going to look for the buff. The buff is going to add the proliferate. That's going to help us to get really big, really strong, really fast. Okay, um, here's another good one. Kamal. Kamal is a really nice one. It, it kind of takes a little to collect this guy, right? Because he's, he's got the uh, masterpiece and it takes a little bit more to collect him. Unless you're, of course, super lucky. But what I would suggest is you Using this guy and you can see right here right it says at the beginning of combat on your turn your creatures get plus three plus three and gain trample okay so that's nice that will help you with the buff right we're talking about getting that buff that you need for this it's gonna trigger those proliferates gonna be really really good so we'll get a buff from this it says when the support you control loses a shield for the first time each turn your first other creature gets plus x plus x and gains bravery haste and vigilance until the end of your turn and that's another way we can acquire a, a buff for a creature okay so that's really good Here's a, another creature that we're going to try to get down there and, and play. It says, when, this creature you, when a creature you control deals combat damage to your opponent's planeswalker, create a gold token. If that creature is a pirate, create two gold tokens. Now, you can kind of see what we're going with here, right? We got Malcolm the Keen-Eyed Navigator. We're going to use him to build a whole lot of tokens. With those tokens, right, we're going to be able to hopefully start smashing some of those tokens, right, those gold tokens. And that, that would count as a support, obviously. This is when a support you control loses a shield, right, you get a buff. Okay, so that's good. That's something that you, we need here. And the reason we're trying to apply all those buffs, obviously, we're trying to make use of this proliferate ability from Warren Clex. Now, the thing I have to mention about the proliferates, right? They're going to buff this guy here, our uh, Jace Mind Sculptor. When I say buff, I'm really talking about adding a whole lot of different uh, charges, those, uh, those shields. Teferi is another good one. Those ones will help you to control the game. Teferi, the Souls of Sunset is another one too. And then Dak Fade, and this is a great, great card right um i'll read it to you over here hopefully we're going to get to play this one uh it says my magecraft one gain control of target opposing creature until the end of turn that's not really one we use we do use this one and we do use the second one here this this ability but it says create a copy on the board under your control of an opposing artifact support if you cannot create a gold token Here's the one that we're hoping to use. Discard a card and then draw two cards. Those cards gain two mana for each of the shields of this support. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to buff this one to get as many as, uh, as you can of all of these shields. And then it's going to start producing a lot of free stuff for you. Okay, so let's take a look at some gameplay. Uh, we're hoping to use that proliferate ability. So we're going to need the boring collects as soon as possible. We got some cards in there to help us get him out. Um, other than that, we're... We're going to see what we can do, but hopefully you guys like this deck and then are able to use it in, in the future. It's a really powerful deck. I'm sure you'll find. Okay, looks like we got Warren Clex early and Kamal early. This is great because it's going to give you that buff all the time, right? So we can get these guys down. We can protect them. That's going to be huge for us. This deck is, of course, for Kazmina. Kazmina, you can take a look here at the mana bonuses. You get a whole lot for the blue and green, and you get some for red as well. All right, so let's keep that in mind. I'll go with this. Okay, Bark Channel Pathway, that's a nice card. It's gonna help us to put some more mana down on board. I think we'll turn it off for now. We want to use the landforming ability that it's got connected to it. I'll, I'll show you that if it uh, if it comes up that we need to use it. Turn Timber Symbiosis is another really good card. It helps you to fetch and then also helps you to put down some, uh, some lands on the board. Okay, here we go. I think we'll go with this. Oh, there was a green match here. Could have went with that. Get Warren Clex is, is out. Now we're going to try to get Kamal out and hopefully we can get him out fast. Oh, there's Malcolm. That's nice. Okay, there we go. 
Uh, at this point, let's go with this. We have a really nice opening hand because we got Kamal and we got Borinclex out. Uh, we're, we're doing pretty, pretty good here. Let's go like this. We want to get ourselves uh, some use out of that proliferate ability. All right. I think one of the problems with this deck is that it it's a very uh, expensive deck when you consider uh, exactly how much some of these cards are costing, right? But you know, I'm sure you'll you'll see that when you play this this deck, you're you're, you're going to find that it's it's pretty well worth it. You know, pretty well worth it. All right, there we are. This Angel card here is pretty devastating. Uh, Angel of Destiny, you can pause the video here and take a look, but basically the important part here is at the end of your turn, if you're, if you have full life, your opponent loses half of their life, right? So we want to make sure that they don't have full life. And, uh, that might be hard to do because, you know, they, uh, they're able to, oops, let's get rid of, let's get rid of this. They're able to start putting down some lifelink on their creatures. So we'll just have to see what we can do here. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll go with this. This will allow us to uh, re, re kind of shuffle this board here. That does help. All right, we're looking good. Uh, let's scoop this guy up. The intro to Annihilation, go here. You know what? Mm, yeah, we'll go like that. Okay, and we'll go with this to get our nice match five with a white here. Okay, there we are. All right, we're moving some pieces. This is good. We're able to take out the opponent's creature. That's huge. That is incredibly big. All right, there we go. Now we're making some moves here. You know what? I already have a tin turn timber symbiosis in the hand. We're going to go like this. Okay, uh, let's see if we can get to seeing how this deck really starts to starts to work. You can see the buffs going into place, and as the buffs go into place, you'll notice that the, uh... Oh, let me get rid of this. I'll take one of those, though. And, eh, we'll go with the Fractal Summoning. As you can see, uh, when those buffs go into place, you'll, um... Those buffs are going into place, and then you're, you're starting to make the, uh, the shields go up over here, right? For our two, uh, vanguards. So that's really what we wanted to do. All right. Actually, you know what? Let's get rid of this. I'm changing my mind on that. We don't really need that. And then, uh, you know what? We'll keep this. Then what we're going to do is we're going to keep that, turn that guy off there. Okay. Uh, let's do this. I like this Jace Mind Sculptor one. That's a nice one. I, uh, I think it's a good one for defense as well. And here's another good Vanguard card. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll move this guy up. We'll take this guy out of the hand. We want to still continue to draw cards. Uh, you know what? We'll get rid of this guy. All right, and then we'll go with that. I, um, I'm trying to make space in the hand so that way we can definitely continue to have uh, an inflow of good cards coming up. As you can see, there's the, the nice little buff for everybody. And especially for these uh, these vanguards down here, those are going to be super important. The vanguards that I put into this deck are all vanguards that are going to help you like defensively and really to just control the game. You can see those gold tokens coming out. At this point, we don't need any of these, so we're not going to go with those. Yeah, guys, this game could be over soon. Um, I'm thinking another turn here. Just because we're we're putting down a lot of damage, and you can see what's going on, right? Our creatures are getting bigger, they're getting stronger. There's Dak. Dak's a good one. All right, let's return that guy to the hand. Okay, that's basically all we got. This is probably going to be the last turn. I'm not going to really even do the math here because we're going to win soon. Actually, yeah, it looks like we got enough. Okay, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe as usual. So that really helps us out. Um, hope you guys find this deck to be someone, a deck that you guys can use. Okay, uh, that's it for me. Like and subscribe as always. And here's the finishing shot there. Okay, uh, good gaming.